All right, let's continue with the eye. So in order to add the eye over here, what we're going to do is add the sphere. So I'm going to go to Subtool and go to a pin. And I'm going to click on Sphere 3D. Once I click over here, you're going to see a new sphere. So I'm going to select the sphere and hit the W key. Now you get this manipulator over here and we can click on these arrows just to move it in the Z direction and click on this box icon and just drag it in just to scale it in. There we go. Now closely I just going to bring it over here. Let me just scale it down and move it outside. bring it over here and just get it in. There we go. We can use the reference as well. So I'm going to click on the floor and just bring my eye over here. Just bring it out like that. There we go. Let's turn off the floor and just make some adjustment over here. There we go. I'm going to hit the Q key to come in the brush and to mirror in the X direction. What I'm going to do is go to geometry and come down over here to modify topology and click on mirror and weld. And you can see now I just mirror the eye on the opposite side. So I'm going to bring out the shape of this eye. So I'm going to hold on Alt and click over here and just start sculpting to adding the volumes over here. Now as for the beginner the eye is the most difficult part but it's the important part over here. So I'm going to read mesh and just hold down alt and just come out nicely. There we go. So I'm going to hold on Alt again and click on the eye. Just bring it out a little bit outside. Now notice what's happening over here. I'm bringing it out on the other side, but this eye is also affecting. So we can stop this if I hit the Control Z. And what I'm going to do is just for temporarily, I'm going to delete by symmetry. And then I just move it a little bit outside. Hit the Q key and Alt click. Just bring it. Now the important thing is over here, it should be rounded like this. So I'm going to use my move tool and just bring it out the shape out of it. So make sure it's kind of a rounded like this. Check from not this angle, but check from upper angle. Make sure it has the rounded over here. It's coming to the clay build up. Just keep adding in separating the mesh and just keep playing with this. Again coming over here with the move tool. Just increase a little bit side. There we go. So it's have this kind of an angle over here that we need it. Just a little bit inside. There we go. This goes inside on the mesh. Don't worry about this right now. I'm going to fix this later. This gives a visual over here how the it's going to connect with the nasal phobia. And I'm going to hit the S key, just bringing a little bit dip inside. There we go. Hit the S key again, it's a little bit dip. Because this area is kind of a flatten over here. And coming to build clay build up and just giving the eye look over here from this angle. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the three key and I'm going to use my Damien standard brush and just carving in to get the wrinkles out of it and just get the shape out of it. If I hold on Alt, it comes out of it like a eyebrows. You can see how the eyebrows are coming out. Make sure it's kind of a folding inside, not the outside. So we need a fold over here and we can just read animation to recalculate and then just make a cut. And you can see this upper lip is going downwards. This is important. It goes downwards over here. Just coming and carving. Hit the F key to frame it. Coming to the clay buildup. Let's add a little bit. Now the lower lip is kind of a thin and this is quite thicker. I'm going to reduce the volume out of it. And just adding the volume over here as well. Coming over here and making that area for the nasal phobia. I'm going to hit the B key and go to the trim dynamic and just flatten out this area. So again, just taking the angles out of it. Going to clay build up, giving some volume. And just keep adding and carving in like that. Start with the nose. If you want, you can make some little bit shape out of it. You don't have to specifically go with the reference. You can just pull it in inside because there are some velociraptors have the nasal phobia is going downwards that you can do that. So it goes a little bit outside and sometimes it comes a little bit outside over here as well. So you can do that as well. It's completely up to you how you want to design your Velociraptor. But if you're going with the realistic, I highly recommend it. Check your reference. So you want to see a lot of reference or you can watch the movie as well. Watch the movie, get some angles out of it and see how they, you know, look from every angle. Now if you hold down Alt, sometimes it happens that you accidentally select the other tool. So I'm going to hold down Alt and click on it. Do some trim dynamic. Just adding the nasal phoebe over here. I 
I want to make sure it's smoothed out over here. Over here as well. And on the back as well. Okay, looks fine. Now we can attach with the body. So we can go to the sub tool and select the body. And uh, we're going to go to the merge down, make sure it's the head, and click on merge down, hit OK, and there we go. Now we're going to read animesh. Now the body had the low resolution, and when I did the re read animesh, it takes the low resolution. So I'm going to hit undo and go to geometry, come to Dynamesh, and you can see it's already set to low resolution. Let's just crank it up a little bit and read Dynamesh. Hit the S key and just bridge this gap with the clay buildup and read Dynamesh. And you can see how it just cleaned it up already. Smooth it out over here. Just equalize the surface. There we go. Just covering up the body and the neck. So there's a divider over here. Now honestly, even in the side effect we've proven, we don't know what exactly the color, how the skin looks like, what exactly was the texture, because the evidence was just only the fossils. And with the bones, you cannot get the idea how they actually we can just only assume how they look like so this is where you can do a little bit creative part and assume how they actually live in the environment so this is just completely on the artistic basis Going to the Tim in standard, pushing in. Raise my brush size a little bit, give some a little bit more volume into it. I'm going to turn on the perspective and don't hesitate, just keep playing with the proportions as well. Just see how it actually looks like. If you want to make some little bit changes, just do it. to bring a little bit head out over here because it's kind of big over here and then smooth it out to make it round look
make sure this part is quite equal over here. And again, checking my every angle over here. So over here you can see how it's coming out the lip area. Now this is going to be effect on the other side as well. So remember that. But we just wanted to do a little bit smoothing out of it. Okay. And now I'm going to select the eye. And let's go to modify topology and do a mirror well. Let's see how it looks like. Hold on control and click and just add a little bit more volume into it. Let's go to Trim Dynamic. Sorry, Tim and Standard. And just add a here. So I'm searching these three brushes. First is the move. Second is the clay buildup. Three is the Damien standard. Just only three brushes I'm switching in between. Pick your favorite brushes. You can also try with the clay, which is sometimes is good. And you can also try with the clay tubes adds a layer into it to get a perfect shape but clay builder I generally use this a lot again using my move tool it's coming out of it and coming to the eye, bring it out the shape. Make sure from the eye it's completely nicely coming out. So there's a bone over here as well and we want to make sure that bone reveals over here. But again, make sure the eyes is covering up nicely. Now if you get confused how much dis distance should be over there, you have to a little bit eyeball it. Make sure it's not coming too much outside. Make sure it's not going inside. And this comes only by practice. You need, so you need to do a little bit practice on it to do a little bit eyeball it where exactly is going to be the placement.
but watching from front, I want to make sure it's coming nicely on this angle. And then going down, just make sure it's covering this kind of a C shape over here. Just moving the shape out of it. Go. Just do slowly and carefully. Let's do a read on a mesh. And again, using the upper lid here. And go into Trim Dynamic, just flatten out everything. And then clay build up, just adding the form and shape out of it. And the low resolution, the nasal phobia goes lost frequently, and that's perfectly fine. We're going to adding the resolution later on, step by step. But just stick with the low poly right now. Just keep finding the shape blocking. This is really important. Don't go above the resolution right now. Uh, if you do that, it's going to be really hard to control the geometry. So right now you want to focus on the control and the basic form and the shapes because it takes a little bit of time and that's completely fine. There we go. So we are getting close um, step by step. But we'll continue in the next video.